This is what I dream of. Sometimes it feels like I'm still there. One amongst hundreds of others, just like me. Some travel far to be here, even from places without a name. We would watch the moon wane, the water darken. Then, celebrations would begin. All of us together on the reef. Our home came alive. I remember that day. I remember him. But that was a long time ago. Let me tell you my story. I am a square tail grouper. And this is where it all began. In these shallow blue waters. I was a baby then. Just another small spotted fish among so many others. These branches were safe for young fish like me. Many of us lived here together. It was crowded, but there was space for everyone. It was a busy place. Everybody seemed to be going somewhere all the time. Well, not everybody. Some of us found time for a nap. I learned so much just by watching. How to swim so that no one saw you places to keep a lookout on the reef, when to stick together and stay close, and how to become invisible to everyone around you. My time in the lagoon taught me something about everyone and about the reef itself. Sunshine danced on it by the day and the night. Oh, it glowed with the light of the corals. My home was mesmerizing. Most days, I spent swimming around looking for food. One day, I heard a strange sound. A shadow went past above me. to see what it was. I reached a place I had never been before. What was this? Where was I? These colors were new. The shapes odd. about the shadows and if they would return. But something told me to leave. Back in the lagoon, a restlessness began to take hold of me. One morning, Chasing silverfish, I swam away from the reef. I swam further than I had ever been before. I kept going. I was curious.
the water was cooler here. The light changed. This was a new place. It made me feel small. Everything was bigger here, more open. At first, I was scared. There were big hunters here, bigger than me. There was so much more to learn. I was meant to be. This felt like home. A few nights later, I woke up to see a few others like me swimming quickly over the reef's edge. Where were they going? followed behind them. They weren't alone. By the time I caught up, I realized there was something going on. And there, as far as I could see, fish swam around each other in huge numbers. I had never seen anything like this before. Usually, I saw two or three others like me in a day. But today, there were a thousand. The water vibrated with them. Where had they all come from? What was happening here? I waited and watched for a long time that day. That's when I saw him. I thought he looked my way. But there were too many others between us. He was strong and confident. He swam with the magic of the open sea. He looked so free. He didn't swim with the hundreds of others nearby. Maybe he was new here too. I watched him for a while. But just like that, he was gone. time, I learned all about this celebration. It happened for a few months every year when the moon was only a sliver in the sky. Others like me swam for a long time to come here. There was something special about this reef. Everyone claimed a patch for themselves during this time. They were guarded aggressively, came too close and there would be a fight. The males jostled with each other and some got hurt. They flashed different colors to warn each other. Brown when chased, white when showing their strength. When they locked jaws, you knew it was serious. Do you see those scars? Sometimes the fighting was bad and didn't end well. And they did all this for us. How they chased us around. When they saw us, they left their territories and danced all around us. This was everyone's favorite move. A little shimmy to the left, a little shimmy to the right, and he got her. And we danced with them too sometimes hidden from view. It was a much-awaited gathering. And as luck would have it, I did see him again, after many moons had risen and set. He did not perch on the reef slope like a lot of others. There, they had to fight hard to keep their space. But he was not like them. He was different. I felt like he was waiting for me. Was he looking my way? One day, I gathered up all my courage 
and swam up to him. And since then, we found each other here every time. We spent many days exploring together. Our home was full of things to do. This was his favorite spot to get his teeth cleaned. And some days, we even joined the others on their hunt. We were happy together. But it wasn't always easy here. Sometimes, the reef was stormy and rough and it was hard to see in the murky water. It was on one of those days that I saw the shadow again. It went past above me. It scared everyone. This time, it stayed. It put things in the water that shined and sparkled. Something didn't feel right. towards it but I was so far away it all happened so fast I I tried to swim as fast as I could but I could do nothing I watched as he got pulled up gone. The shadows, they took many of us that day. One after another. And then they left. I followed to see where they were taking them. me back to the place I'd been to so long ago. But things here look so different now. The water was nothing like it used to be. Earlier, it had been quiet. Now, there were loud sounds coming from close by. Shadows surrounded me. When had this happened? I remembered this place like it was yesterday. I swam for a long time that day. The place where I had grown up had forever changed. The corals were gone. Should I leave this place? But my body took me back to the only place I knew. My home, where I belonged. Many moons have risen and set since that day. But I keep going back to the place where I first saw him.
the shadows come more often now. The celebrations are a memory. There aren't many of us left here. But we stay. I dream about that day. I dream about him. <laughs>